To start making our modular kitchen assets, we'll start by adding a cube and, hey, wait a minute, what's a modular asset anyway? Modular assets are basically any group of models that have common edges that can be snapped together easily in a variety of arrangements, allowing the artist to create any number of layouts without ever having to model the same thing over and over. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, add a plane, not a cube. Kitchen cabinets are usually 24 inches or 0.6096 meters deep. So make the plane's Y dimension 0.6096. The width varies greatly, but we will start with a piece that is one foot or 0.3048 meters wide. Make sure to apply the scale. Now all base cabinets are 34 and a half inches or 0.8763 meters tall without the countertop. Tab into edit mode and tap E to extrude 0.8763. That's it for the basic shape. Add an edge loop down the center and place the 3D cursor on the front center edge with Shift S. Tab out of edit mode and in front orthographic view, add another plane that faces your view. Tab into edit mode, scale it, select the face, extrude a small amount and press I to inset. Extrude this outer face ring, add a loop cut and remove the right half of it. Tabbing out of edit mode on our door, which you may want to name it now by pressing F2, enter edit mode on the primary base cabinet. Name that too. Place an edge loop around it and move it all the way down. Then move it on the Z 4 inches, or 0 0.1016. Now grab the leading edge at the bottom and snap it up here. Select all vertices and merge by distance. Now our base cabinet is done as far as modeling, but don't tab out of edit mode just yet. Select the top loop after deleting the top face. Duplicate it and tap P to separate by selection. Now we can tab out of the base cabinet and select our newly created object. Name it Countertop. Tab into Edit Mode. Move the leading edge on the Y negative 1.5 inches, or 0 0.0381 meters. Fill it with a face and extrude it by the same amount. Delete the side faces and any unnecessary edges. Now let's tab out and throw a bevel modifier on there. Give it two segments and an amount of something like 0 0.002. Set the limit method to None and make that outer miter an arch. Control 2 we'll add a subdiv modifier with two subdivisions in both the viewport and render. We want the same modifiers on all of these objects, so select them all and keep the countertop as the primary selection. Tap Control L and copy modifiers. Select the door and add a mirror modifier. Drag that to the top of the stack and enable merge and clipping. Back in edit mode, we can move this bottom portion up past the kick area and move the top down to make room for the drawer. Duplicate it and move the pieces around to make the drawer. Tab out and place your cursor at the place where you want the pool to be created. Add a circle with something like 12 segments and face it forward. Do a bunch of extrude and scale functions until you have something you like and fill the end with Control F and G for grid fill. Apply the rotation and scale, add a subdiv modifier, and bevel any edges that are too round or blobby using Control B. Now for those upper cabinets. Grab that upper ring of the base cabinet again, duplicate it, and create another object. Snap it along the Z to the top of the counter. Then move it on the Z 18 inches or 0.4572. Fill and extrude 30 inches or 0.762. Remove unnecessary edges again. Slide the front face all of the way back and move it again on the Y negative 1 foot or 0.3048. Now duplicate the door. Remove the drawer portion. Move it up and snap it to the upper cabinet on the Y axis. Resize it in edit mode and you're done. Well, almost. Parent everything to the base cabinet and duplicate it all. Delete one half of both the top and base cabinets. Give them each a mirror modifier. Add another mirror to the doors with the cabinet as their mirror object. Resize the cabinets and doors as needed. Do that as many times as you need to get all of the desired sizes. Now you have standard cabinets to link or append to any future kitchen scene. As usual, if you found this video useful, give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Carl with Blender Forge. Happy blending!